Hello and good morning. Today is October 27th. Our presentation today is all about a healthy Halloween featuring cracked cell chlorella. <clears throat> My name is Naeva Flory, and I have been on this council for about four years now, and I'm so excited to have Jody Parker here with us, which is one of our original council members. I also have our newest council member, Sherry Packard, and we also have um, Carmela, who is not here today, and Taz, who is not here today, and our soon-to-be council member, Tammy Trissel, is joining us here today as well. So super excited to have such an incred incredible crew here and such inspiring moms that I get to work with, and each and every one of you here is part of the Million Mom Movement, so thank you for being a part of this movement and spreading this word out into your communities, because that's what we're here to do. And today we're talking about Halloween, right? It's all the toxic effects of candy and what is going on with our children and their health. And so we really want to just help empower you with ways that we can help our children to detox some of these things that they might be putting into their body and support them in their healthy lifestyle as well as yourself. And you can spread this word out into your community and so I'd love to pass it over to Sherry. She's going to share our in the news piece with us today. And we are going to dive right into this presentation. Thank you, Naeva. Good to. Okay. I'm just going to put everything up here on my screen. Oh, wrong thing. Hold on. <laughs> All right. So this is our first news piece, and it's called Frightening Food The Scary Additives Lurking in Halloween Candy. So, we all, we used to think, I remember growing up that it was these scary costumes that was the scariest thing about Halloween, but it's really not. When you become a mom, and especially when you become a conscious consumer, you realize that it's really more about the ingredients in some of these candies that are the scariest part of Halloween. And as this, of course, the article starts off pretty much in, in that same tone, you know, um, it's an exciting time, kids love dressing up. Um, and then there's a trick or treating, a treating aspect. Now, while a lot of kids will be resistant to stepping away from the most common candies that are available. These are some of the reasons why we should consider introducing them at this time of the year, right? As alternatives, as healthy alternatives or healthier alternatives. So some of the ways that we um, need to start recognizing what's in these candies. So we need to look at the label, right? For why we use additives and their risks. So four of the worst, because there are many, but four of the worst or most common additives and well-known types of candies are titanium dioxide, TBHQ, BHT, and synthetic dyes like red dye number three. So this ghoulish group has repeatedly been linked to a wide range of potential health harms. Titanium dioxide gives some types of candies their smooth texture and their bright color. And it's often used in candies like Skittles and Starburst, Sour Patch Kids, Swedish Fish, and Trolley Gummies. I'm sure that we've all um, either had these as kids ourselves or have kids who, or know of kids who love these, right? These are some of the most popular ones. So scientists have warned us for years about these potential health the risks of titanium dioxide because it can accumulate in the body and it can cause damage to our DNA. And it's also a hormone disruptor. So last year, the European Food Safety Authority assessed the additive as being unsafe for consumption. But here in North America, it's not the case. So earlier this year, a class action suit was filed against Mars, the maker of Skittles, Starburst, and many of the other candies that use titanium dioxide. Um, for their long-term health benefits, um, <laughs> for the long-term um, damaging effects of this chemical and why it's still being used in these candies. So why is why are companies like Mars still using titanium dioxide when the effects, the damaging effects of this um, are everywhere, right? Like where scientists are have been warning us for years. So unfortunately, it's still being used. So TBHQ is a food preservative that prolongs the shelf life of candies and snacks such as Reese's peanut butter cup, it's in Pop-Tarts, Cheez-Its, and more than a thousand other processed foods. So TBHQ um, can harm the immune system, 
right? And according to the EWG study published this year in the International Journal of Environmental Research and Public Health, okay, that it is damaging to our immune system. Other studies have shown that the additive can impair flu vaccine efficacy and raise the risk of other food allergies. Um, BHT is used in things like Rice Krispie treats, charms, blow pops, um, and it's been listed by the FDA as generalized safe. But some studies have shown that it can cause cancer in animals and may act as an endocrine disruptor. And the red dye number three, and I'm sure that's probably one that we, I feel like that's the one that's, that's you hear about the most in the news um, and other synthetic dyes as well, because there's also red, red dye number 40 and yellow dye number five. And these are used most in candies, including branches, candy corn, and it makes them, of course, all of these bright colors that we tend to, that first of all, are extremely appealing to children, right? All of these bright colors are very, uh, is what attracts them. Um, and it's not by accident that they look to make the candies these bright colors, right? Because our bodies naturally um, crave healthy foods, whole foods, foods from nature. So think of all the colorful fruit and vegetables that we have, right? So th basically these companies have hijacked that and use these bright colors to pull us in. And especially when we're talking about our children, um, they're very vulnerable to this. And so there's a reason why these dyes are still being used. And there's a reason why a lot of companies are so resistant to removing them. So um, a lot of these, yeah. So red dye number three alone can be found in over 2000 products. And synthetic dyes have been linked to a wide array of health harms, including cancer and behavioral difficulties in sensitive children. Uh, if we scroll down. Okay, so how do we help our kids avoid these harmful candies, right? That's, that's what's on everybody's minds. How do we do this? So the first thing is that we need to become conscious consumers, right? We have to know that these ingredients are in these candies. We have to know how to find them on food labels, and then we have to do our best to avoid them. Um, checking the ingredient level levels for the presence of these uh, additives may, may be the best way to make sure that they don't make their way into our homes. It's also helpful to avoid ultra processed foods, right? Because as we've mentioned just above, some of these ingredients are found, are found in other things besides candies. Some of the most processed foods that are available will contain these as well. Um, uh, um, and of course, we want to, when we are shopping for Halloween candies, right, um, it doesn't mean that we have to avoid the trick-or-treating aspect of the season altogether, um, but we can start making healthier swaps. We can find alternatives that um, don't contain these harmful ingredients. So we want to start looking for um, organic, right, non-GMO uh, with natural colors and, and not just natural flavors, natural colors. We want to know where those colors are coming from, right? So we want to see some whole food ingredients perhaps listed as, as um, where the colorings are coming from. And of course, we want to look for candies that have lower amounts of sugar. If possible, I always suggest looking for um, maybe coconut sugar or maple, maple, um, pure maple syrup, right, as the source of sweetener over the white sugar or even cane sugar. And of course, we want to look for ones that have, you know, without allergens. So these are going to be some of the ways that we can start making these healthier swaps because these, these options do exist. And we're going to go a little bit deeper into that throughout the presentation. So this is the first article. Um, I'm going to pull, go ahead and pull up the, oops, I lost my page. <laughs> Oh, the joys of sharing your screen. Okay, second. All right, here we go. So our second article, what are the health benefits of chlorella? Okay, so this, this is a great article. If you really wanna know, um, they highlight many studies that have been done on chlorella. Um, they also really dive deep into all of the different ways that chlorella can be beneficial to everyone, not just children, okay? So I just wanted to highlight a few things here, um, but of course we will provide the links in the comments so you guys can really take a deeper dive into uh, both of these articles. But I really wanted to highlight here all of the studies that have been done on chlorella and all of the many uh, possible health benefits that chlorella are linked to. 
So chlorella contains, of course, a wide range of nutrients, including proteins, omega-3 fatty acids, vitamins and minerals, including antioxidants. Chlorella has a tough, rigid cell wall that makes it hard to digest in its natural form. So processing makes, it, makes its nutrients more digestible. Some people have proposed using chlorella as a source of protein and other nutrients to feed a growing global population. Others have suggested it as an alternative and renewable fuel source for agriculture equipment, which that I was not aware of until reading that article. I thought that was fascinating. So some of the health benefits of using chlorella. So we know that it boosts the immune system. A, 12, a 2012 study looked at how chlorella affects the immune system of humans. And after 30 Korean people took five grams of chlorella for eight weeks, and they underwent various biological changes that suggest that chlorella might strengthen the immune system. There's also um, protecting against dementia. There was another study in 2009 that found um, that chlorella played a significant role in preventing age-related mental decline. This could be due to chlorella's antioxidant effect on the brain, which makes perfect sense that it would. So there's also benefits to chlorella during pregnancy, of course, because of its iron and its folate and its vitamin B12. There was another study done for this one um, that you can look into as well. Endurance cap uh, capacity, and this, of course, interests me again as a mom of two athletes, a 2014 study looked at how taking 15 chlorella, chlorella tablets twice a day for four weeks affected the peak oxygen intake in humans. So 10 young people took either chlorella or a placebo. And the effects were really interesting. I actually dove deeper and pulled up this study. And I was it, it was really uh, interesting to see just how much chlorella can help with endurance. So this chlorella could be a great superfood for athletes. And then there's fighting BPA. So this is another one I just wanted to highlight here that estrogen is a hormone, of course, that occurs naturally in the body. However, some substances that mimic the activity of estrogen can cause damage to the body. And in a 2009 study, chlorella uh, was, was, was found to help pull those plastics out of the body. So this is a really exciting study as well that I encourage everybody to look a little deeper into. And then quickly, we, go, we look at the nutrition. So as we mentioned earlier, protein. So chlorella can, can, can contain up to, here it says 70%, usually between 50 and 70% of dry weight protein. B12, right? So it contains, it's, a, it's, the, it's the only plant actually that really sources the vitamin B12, um, which is really exciting, of course, for vegetarians and vegans, right? Who are looking to have a little bit more B12 in, on a daily basis. There's also iron. So for people who are iron deficient, have anemia or suffering from anemia, so often they're put on these anemia pills, right? That cause a whole other slew uh, of health issues and are very uncomfortable in the body, very stressful for the body. Um, it takes quite a while to start even, you know, feeling any difference at all or for it to accumulate. Whereas here we can go a natural route and take chlorella, um, which is naturally going to help boost those levels of iron. So that's a little bit on chlorella, its overall health benefits. I'm gonna pass it over, I'm gonna pass it back to Nayeva so that we can focus into how chlorella specifically can help our children. Thank you so much, Sherry. So much educational resources right there just within those two articles. Why don't you say, drop her some love in the comments. She's gonna give you those article links as well. And yeah, for me as a mom, I feel like the scariest thing about Halloween is not the costumes. Like Sherry said, it really is all the chemicals, preservatives, and food coloring that is coming home with the kids. And it is hard, you know, in this day and age, because we don't want to deprive our kids of this fun holiday. It's something they look forward to. They're excited about. Actually, my son is most excited about carving pumpkins. He's been carving pumpkins since the end of November. And I can't. And so we're making like pumpkin things every week because I got to do something with these pumpkins. So we've been making pumpkin crunch and pumpkin pies and pumpkin everything, pumpkin shakes, um, which is really exciting because it goes really well with our pumpkin spice protein that is a seasonal product that we have right now, which is really exciting. And um, so for me, it's that's where I'm at as a mom. And I think that most of you can relate to the struggle. The struggle is real. And we have so many articles to share with you as well as tools to just help us to be able to make good choices for our children and keep them healthy. 
And first, I'm going to share a little bit more. I'm going to share my screen here. Give me a second. And we're going to share a little bit more about what our kids are really eating. What are they really eating on a day-to-day -day basis, right? It's no secret that there is obesity crisis in the U.S. A whopping 42.4% of adult Americans were considered obese in 2020. Unfortunately, this is also the case with children as the obesity rate for children ages two to 19 was 19.3%. Now that's really alarming. Compare that number to the 5.5% it was for children in the 1970s. You can see the problem. Why are these numbers rising? It starts with food from the standard American diet. So ultra processed food have become so prominent in our diets today. They're generally cheap, convenient, have a long shelf life due to preservatives and are pumped with artificial flavors to enhance to entice it rather than nourish. So it's really about the flavors, not the nutrition in these ultra processed foods. These are things like pizza, cookies, chips, frozen meals that dominate the shelf place in the grocery stores, making their availability abundant. Now take note, they're taking advantage of us as moms because they know we're busy and we're tired. And so we're grabbing things that might be easy to feed our children, but is it really worth it in the long run, right? The problem, ultra processed foods are loaded with unhealthy ingredients such as sugar, corn syrup, and artificial flavoring. And the ironic thing about that is all the pos positives that are associated with the ultra processed foods are only possible because of the negatives. Now, what does that mean? What makes ultra processed foods even worse is the effect they have on our children because they are so easy to obtain and they taste good. Children are the ones who are consuming it in excess. In a recent study conducted by the journal, a medical journal, JAMA, two thirds of calories consumed by adolescents and children in 2018 come from ultra processed foods. And this is where I want to highlight that when we go to the grocery store, it's really important that we shop the perimeters, that we shop the fruit and vegetable section first and try to put as many of those things in our cart prior to filling the cart with maybe some of the other things that we want to make as meals, but really trying to fill our carts with as much fruits and vegetables because that's so important. And I think that's where this issue really stems from is that people are shopping the interior of the store before the perimeter. Um, so other than being filled with unhealthy ingredients, ultra processed foods can also lead to overeating in a study that compared those eating a diet of ultra processed foods to those eating a diet of unprocessed foods. The participants with the ultra processed diet ate an average of 508 calories per day and ended up gaining an average of two pounds every two weeks on the flip side, those who consumed un processed foods ended up losing an average of two pounds every two weeks. This means that consuming ultra processed foods gives anyone who relies on them a double whammy of being loaded with unhealthy ingredients and making them feel more hungry, which results in vicious cycle. So long-term outlook on children. If children are consuming two thirds of their calories from ultra processed foods, these unhealthy habits will become harder and harder as they continue to age and stats show According to the CDC, children that are obese are five times more likely than normal weight children to be overweight or obese as adults. This is why it is critical to instill healthy eating habits in our children so they can not only be healthy in their youth, but to carry those habits into adulthood and pass those habits down to their own kids. So tips to have your kids stay healthy and stay away from un, you know ultra processed foods is have lots of fruits and vegetables and healthy items in your kitchen <clears throat> like i mentioned earlier shopping the parameter of the store you know loading your basket with as much fruits and vegetables as possible feed them nutrient dense meals um, encourage your kids to stay well hydrated and stay away from sugary drinks. That's where, you know, having the different Purium superfood drinks, especially maybe the juice bar in a bag can really be beneficial to our children because they often want juice and sugary drinks. And those are really great alternatives that are packed with nutrients. So make sure they are getting enough sleep. Sleep def deprivation leads to overeating and lack of desire to be active. So don't forget your apothecary at night. Make sure your kids are taking it too. And then incorporate our family nutrition pack, which 
Jody Parker was the one who really helped us to put this pack together and, and, you know, shared it with corporate that this would be a pack that her family would absolutely be taking advantage of and something that she could share with her community. And we also have a sad to rad diet that we've, and it's not, it's not a diet. It's really sad as standard American diet, rad as real American diet or radically activated devotion, as we say here at the Million Mom Movement. And, you know, and of course we're encouraging everybody to join us as part of the Million Mom Movement, because this is where we are laying it all out. So this article is what is um, highlighted here as the sad to rad. And so I just wanted to bring you here because every parent wants their children to reach their full potential with the chlorella cell growth factor and the, and how healthy becomes simple. So I'd love to pass it over to Jody if you want to read this article to, with us and also um, just share about how you created this family nutrition pack and we'll just go from there. Okay, I can totally do that. Thanks, Naeva. Hello, everyone. I'm so happy to be back. So if you don't know me, I was on the I was one of the original council members. And so how did the family nutrition pack start? Um, we were addicted to the MVP family chocolate protein, and the juice bar in a bag and the cherry and all of those things. And uh, people were always coming to me and going, how do you get this into your kids? And I was sharing all the recipes and all the things that I did. And I went to corporate and said, we need a family nutrition pack to make this easy for people to not have to think through what do I need so that we're getting all the various things in the pack. So Dave Sandoval and I got on the phone and we hammered it out to make sure my kids are getting greens. They're getting a good source of protein, especially in the morning, because you need that high protein first thing in the morning. Fun fact, you have more stomach acid in the morning than you do at any other time during the day. And stomach acid is what digests protein. And so having a lot of protein in your breakfast is a, it's a really good time to do that. And it will also help keep their blood sugar stable throughout the day. And so that's really a huge benefit um, when they're going to school or like my kids are homeschooled, but it just keeps them focused a little bit longer. We've got those trace elements in there. And that's huge because your body can't do anything without all of its minerals especially magnesium. And ironically that the ionic elements has that, but so does chlorella. Chlorella is very high in magnesium. So I, of course I forgot to turn off my notifications. I'm sorry. And nothing has dinged until I unmuted. So I apologize. It's been a while since I did these live. Um, but what's interesting about chlorella, when we were talking about performance, right? And we were talking about the growth factor and all of these things. Well, magnesium is huge in that. And chlorella, what, what makes it green is chlorophyll. And chlorophyll is a very, very similar molecule to hemoglobin. Hemoglobin has iron, um, but chlorophyll has magnesium. And that is one of the reasons it helps you oxygenate is because it helps your blood make more hemoglobin and it has the iron in it. And so your body can make more blood, which is amazing for the athletes, but for the children. And it has this chlorella growth factor in it. Well, what does that mean? Uh, my 10 year old has, we've been with Perium since I, since she was two and I can tell when she's having a growth spurt because she goes and takes handfuls of the chlorella tabs and just eats them. Uh, kids know when they eat healthy, they know what their body needs. And this growth factor helps maximize the growth for the children. It helps them optimize their health. And so that's really key. If you get, if you get your kids started when they're young, they'll do it naturally, but a really great way to get it into them. If you can't get them to just eat the straight chlorella is to go the juice bar and a bag route. Um, my kids will do just the straight lemon green spectrum, which is in the family nutrition pack. That's why we put it in there. Um, but you can also mix it. You can mix it in with all of the other juice bar stuff and it's sweet, or you can mix it in with the cherry. Um, and they will drink it that way. And you can also make it as a popsicle, um, and mix it into things like that. So get creative. Something that we do in our house is get like the frozen fruit, like the pineapples and the lemons and the limes and sort of pina colada sort of tastes will go really well with that. And you can hide it. And the other tip that I always give people is chocolate hides 
everything. So if you can't get your kids to take their chlorella or to drink that green spectrum, put it in a smoothie, add some extra chocolate. I, we use cacao, organic cacao in my house, which is gonna is a superfood in and of itself, and it will hide that taste. Uh, and one more tip to get your kids to eat this stuff is your pH. So, you know, water is seven, it's neutral, right? But all the foods we eat, except for fruits and vegetables, make us acidic. And the more acidic you are, the more the things that are good for you taste bad. And so getting, getting you more towards that alkaline, that neutral state, which is what greens and these fruits and vegetables do, changes your taste buds because it changes the pH of your saliva. So one of the things that you can do is have them rinse their mouth with the green drink. It will taste the P it will change the pH in their mouth and then it tastes better. And so that's a, a, a fun little tip that you can use. Um, and it's also really good for detox. It helps get the nasty stuff that we've been talking now about throughout this entire call. It helps get it out of your body. And one key thing that you need to know about Purium's chlorella specifically is it's cracked cell chlorella. Why does that matter? Because the cell membrane is really, really thick and you can't use it if it's not cracked. And so we crack it with sound and then that opens that cell membrane and all the good stuff that's inside the, the chlorella uh, cell membrane, can we can access it. Um, so that's one of the key things. And I'll tell one more little story and then I'm gonna pass it back to you, Naeva. Uh, when I went on the manufacturing tour, one of the coolest things about Perium's chlorella is that we don't process it quickly on machinery. We hand press it. So it doesn't have that silicon dioxide or the titaniums or the, any of that stuff in it. It's just chlorella. And they have this big machine and they press it down into these like little tubes. And that's what makes the little tablets. And what's so special about that is not only does it not have the additives, but chlorella has healthy fats in it. But healthy fats go rancid or go bad for you at uh, pretty low temperatures. like, And so if we put them on machinery, if you buy it from a company that's putting it on machinery, that machinery gets hot and it makes the fat go rancid. But Perium doesn't do that. We make sure that we keep it at those lower temperatures. So you're getting those good fats in a healthy way. And that that's one of my favorite things about the manufacturing tour. So try and get out there to see that because it's super cool. But I, I just kind of dumped my brain on everybody, which if you've been following Million Mom Movement for a while, it's a thing that I do. Uh, I'm happy to answer questions later if we need it. But Naeva, back to you. Thank you so much, Jody. You have so much knowledge and I just love you just sharing. You have so much passion and thank you for putting that family nutrition pack together. It's something that is so helpful to just get these superfoods into the entire family, you know, for the mom, for the dad and for the children to just be able to dive into this lifestyle in a seamless way and just discover all the different flavors that are available there. So thanks for sharing a little bit about that. Such an amazing pack. So happy to have you back for a minute. And so I am going to go ahead and go to the next article. I did show the screen to the article that she that she was alluding to the cell growth factor that chlorella has. And we will be sharing these into the Million Mom Movement official later as well. So you can dive into the whole article and read more. But we do have some more great things to share with you. So like Jody said, well, can your kids have Perium too? Of course. Jody just shared how her kids are using Perium in their daily life and how beneficial it is for them. Her daughter is reaching for that chlorella. My son reaches for the chlorella. It's something that when we introduce it to our kids young, then it's something they'll reach for. And like in the last article, prior to Jody sharing, they were saying that if we instill those healthy habits now, then they can carry those healthy habits throughout their life and and then also pass that on to their children. And so here at Purium, one of the most common questions is, can my kids have these products too? And the answer is yes. What I always tell people is that Purium is food. It's not something that's a synthetic vitamin or something that you can only have. It's something you can share with your whole family. So of course, special considerations need to, need to be made for the little ones like babies. So we're breaking down what you need to know to ensure optimal nutrition for your little loved ones. A healthy start 
and special considerations. So starting your child on a nutrient-dense superfood and organic diet from the beginning will make them more likely to enjoy good nutrition. Children have high nutrition needs, but small stomachs comparatively. So nutrient density is key to support healthy growth. Additionally, kids are fantastic at determining what their body needs when they are superfood fed from the start. With a healthy start, kids are also fantastic at determining what their body needs. Small servings of versatile foods is an excellent way to meet their nutritional needs daily. Trust your child when they say they are still hungry, but don't want any more of what is in front of them. They are listening to their body, telling them that they require more or different nutrients. So as a company, we cannot legally guide you to take supplements for your children under age two. So ask your healthcare provider if, you know, if that's something that you want to do and what supplements are right for your child. We list all the ingredients on the product labels. So you can share that with your trusted healthcare provider and they can help you make a sound decision for your little ones. Typically our food products can generally be given to children. The serving size on the products is based on an adult of roughly a hundred pounds. So all you have to do is adjust the size of your child to determine the serving size for them. And back to the nutrition family nutrition pack that Jody just shared about such an incredible pack. It has everything for you and your family. It has the healthy vegan proteins as the fruits, it has the vegetables, it has the gut health support, it has immune support, it has sleep support. So it's really a no brainer for you and your family to in integrate these superfoods into your lives. And of course, there's more information on that, but I'll let you click on that on your own when you read this whole article yourself. The Ultimate Lifestyle Transformation is also a really great way to go for anybody just getting started with these superfoods juice bar in a bag, like Jody also mentioned, one of our favorites, and we'll be sharing a little bit about that one later. But what we'll be sharing about in our special tool that we're going to share with you today is all about food coloring. And the juice bar in a bag is a great replacement for artificial food coloring. So if you're making treats at home, or you're making a cake frosting, and you want it to be a pretty pink or green or blue or some pretty color, you can actually use the superfoods from juice bar in a bag to create those colors and enhance the nutritional value. So it's a win-win for everyone. And then refining and fine-tuning your supplements. So when it comes to supplements, capsules can be opened and added to food of a child. So a lot of times I will hear people say like, my kid won't take capsules. Well, that's fine. You can open the capsules. So spirulina, Croxal chlorella, C from nature, biomedic, super xanthan are all great for all ages. And you can actually open them up and put them into a smoothie. You can, you know, put them maybe in between like a peanut butter jelly sandwich or whatever things, places where you can hide it, where they won't really taste it and um, where they can't see it. Cause sometimes seeing it, you know, for some children, they'll be like, what is that? I don't want it. Cause it looks different. So there's ways that you can hide it. Of course, smoothies are always the top suggestion because it's pretty easy to hide things in a smoothie. So I have been using these superfoods for nine years now. And I actually started when my son was four months old and he was reaching for my shake. He was breastfed and he would always watch me drink a shake. It was part of what I would do is I would make myself a shake so I could sit down and feed him so that I was fueling myself at the same time. And so of course, babies are always looking up at you and gazing into your eyes. And he would always watch me during that time. I'd also be sipping on my shake. And so when he was about six months old, he would reach for it. And at first I was like, Oh, I don't know. I don't want to give him this. I, you know, and I was going more the traditional way of like, I need to start him off on rice cereals and whatever the baby foods are that are out there. But as I started to think about it, I realized that those foods are really um, void of a lot of nutrients and they're ultra processed. And so I decided to let him have a sip of my shake when he was about eight months old. I made my own personal decision. I can't advise this for anyone else, but I decided that I was going to let him have a sip of my shake, that it couldn't be worse than the rice cereal that he was, you know, starting to consume. And let me tell you, I never could drink a shake in front of him again without him throwing a baby tantrum and wanting my shake. So I would have to share my shake with him or hide and drink it. So what I, my alternative was to make a shake, pour a little bit in a sippy cup for him, add a little additional water to water it down and let him have his shake while I had mine. 
So it was a great alternative. It worked great. He's nine years old now, and he comes home from school and makes his MVP chocolate shake. He eats his crack cell chlorella in the morning and sometimes in the afternoon too. He will just take the capsules and chew them up. He really loves them. He takes the biomedic and opens it up and will dump it in his mouth. It doesn't taste bad at all. And he loves these superfoods. So that's just an example of how when we set an example for our children, they do what we do. So if you adopt this Purium lifestyle and you share it with your children, they will also adopt it and enjoy it. So another tip is helping them, letting them make their own shakes at once they're old enough, obviously. When my son was probably about three years old, he would make me a shake when I would be on a Zoom like this one and he would bring it to me. And of course I go back to the kitchen and there'd be green powder all over the table and some water splashes and some green mud everywhere. But he would make it and bring it to me and be like, mom, I made you lunch or breakfast or whatever it was. And it was so adorable that at such a young age, he could actually, you know, get the water from the water filter, put some power shake in there, shake it up and bring it over to me. And he was so proud of himself for doing that. And, you know, he still does that to this day. So when we help our kids make it themselves, they enjoy it more as well. So I got both of my sons, their own blenders. I got a red and a blue one. So they have different color blenders and they make their own shakes every day. And I can tell when they make their shakes because their blender is always in the sink. Um, so, you know, it, but it really does help them because they feel like it's something of theirs. It's their own thing and they get to make it. They get to put all the different flavors in there that they like. They can make it chocolate or pumpkin spice or however they are in, wanting to enjoy it that day. And so that is a little bit about how my kids use the superfoods. And I would love to go ahead and pass it over to Tammy so she can share some of her story about how she uses these superfoods for her family as well. Thank you, Naeva. I'm so honored to be here with all of you guys. I have been following the Million Mom movement for the last three years, and I've learned so much vital information and it's helped me to feed my family healthier. I was always in the mindset of everything in moderation, you know, like, oh, you eat your dinner, you can have your candy. And we did all the standard American diet things. And I have three kids, 18, 17, and six years old now. So when we started this, you know, it was a very big drastic change. And when I realized the dangers in the food and from my own health crisis that I was suffering from, I'm like, I have to do something. I have to prevent them from struggling and suffering the way that I was. So I threw away everything in my house and we got every Purium product. We have the chlorella and the apothecary, the whole, the whole lineup. And my kids love it. It, it you know, it takes consistency and leading by example and they have been embracing it. All of their issues are no longer issues anymore. Um, you know, the chlorella, my teenagers, they, they chew these, they chew them up like candy. And my little guy, we call it Hulk candy. So we make it really fun for them. Um, they love their apothecary. My six-year-old just made his own Facebook post the other day. He took the apothecary into the bathroom and was making a video and posted it on Facebook. Um, so they see me doing this and now they're, they're starting to imitate me as well. Um, it's really fun to see them light up and really just to feel good. Um, you know, their, their skin, my teenagers, especially, maybe it's a little more, they, they love to, to have clear skin and they notice that their skin really cleared up. So they just, they love how they feel and they go for, you know, the chlorella, they go for the juice bar in a bag, whatever they're feeling that day, they have access to all of this nutrition. And now they're not craving those things like they used to be craving. And when we go trick or treating, my little guy, we swap out the, the things that he gets from around the neighborhood and we give him the yum earth or that he loves the giggles, the organic Skittles that, um, He's really obsessed with those. He is happy to trade his candy. And we did something really fun last year and we had a bonfire and he got to throw all of his candy that he collected from the neighborhood into the fire to see all the fun colors that the chemicals were releasing. And it was so fascinating, you know, that the one candy, the caramel chews that have the white center, when he threw those into the fire, it took forever for them to melt. So in my brain, I'm thinking, oh my gosh, like imagine what that's doing to your digestive system, how hard that is to break down. 
So that was really eye opening to see that. So we try to make it fun for them and, you know, give them all the fun replacements so that they don't feel like they're missing out and they're really embracing this lifestyle. So I'm so excited to be here with you guys. Thank you so much, Tammy. How much fun is that to make a bonfire and watch all the colors that they make? I bet it does make a lot of beautiful colors. And it's just so interesting that the educational part, like what you said, like if the fire can't burn it, how are we digesting, you know, what is in that candy? So thank you so much for being on with us today. I'm so excited to work with you more. And I would love to pass it over to Sherry so you can share with us some of your tips and tricks and how you use chlorella in your family. Thank you, Naeva. Um, so our story with uh, with superfood started when my son, my oldest son was diagnosed with type 1 diabetes. Okay, so that was in 2018. And it sent me on this journey. I was already in holistic health and I, I you know, I, I spent a long time trying to figure out, you know, what was I missing? Like we were doing all the right things as far as I knew, and yet he still had this diagnosis. So um, after a whole lot of research, um, a long road of research actually led me to Curium, led me to superfoods, led me to really understanding the link between the gut microbiome, right? And our digestion and our absorption and deficiencies and, and all of those things and how they're all linked to all types of different health issues that we can have, including including what my son was dealing with. Um, and so we started with an ultimate lifestyle transformation and um, I used everything with him except for the super cleanser. Um, and it was like within two weeks um, that he started to notice that the first thing that he started to notice was that he was sleeping better and he had never slept well from the day he was born. Um, and he was sleeping through the night every single night consistently from the time that we started these superfoods. And within about two, two weeks in, I'll never forget the morning that he came downstairs and he's like, mom, I'm because I'm feeling better. Like I'm just feeling better. And that was because he was sleeping well, right? And 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 he felt rested for the first time in his life. Um, and so, you know, at the time he was very resistant to all of this, but he was used to it because he had this diagnosis and because we were, we, we had already made a lot of changes in our diet and lifestyle. He was reluctant, but he went along because he knew it was important. You know, I'd always been talking to him about why it was so important. So he did it. But at the back of my mind, I was always worried because it wasn't something that he was wholeheartedly choosing for himself, right? He was doing it because he had to. And I knew having coached so many families in nutrition that children really have to choose this for themselves if we want to create like um, found, a foundational uh, levels, right, of health, like for them to really keep, take this on and, and keep choosing it, like when they're teenagers and they're out, you know, with friends or at parties and, and as young adults, when they're up late studying and, you know, what are the snacks they're going to, they're, they're going to go for, what are they going to choose in those moments? And so I was, I was still a little worried because it wasn't a foundational choice for him just yet. Um, and, and Purim really changed that because as he started to feel better, now he was linking feeling better with what he was putting into his body. So so two years, we're now almost three years in, and this is, you know, our superfoods are daily, daily part of our lifestyle. They make their own shakes. They ask me to make them shakes. Um, and the chlorella has come in really interestingly enough, because I was ordering the chlorella from the beginning and they never touched it. So I, it's okay. I would give them their epigenius which was Epigenius Kids at the time. Now it's Epigenius Family and that has chlorella in it. Um, and I, or, you know, I had the crack cell chlorella powder and I would add it to their chocolate shakes. Like Jody had mentioned before, chocolate is fantastic for hiding things like chlorella. Um, and so I knew that they were still getting it and that was okay with me, um, but they would never touch the tabs. And about a year ago, I think it was last summer, and they got curious. They saw me chewing a few and they're like, can we try those? And I was like, can we try them again? Cause they had tried them at one point. I was like, well, I don't like them. And I was like, yeah, sure. Of course. And they had them again and now they love them. So now every single morning they go to the cabinet as part of their morning routine. They count out 15 for each. They eat their 15. They even share with the cats who now like the cats just hear the bag and they come running. So it's like a family thing. You know, we all have our chlorella and it's funny because once they heard, they asked me because now they're really curious and they see this, this is their lifestyle now. And they, they, I mean, they hear me talking about it all the time, right? On million mom movement calls and with clients and alike. And so, you know, they want to know what every single superfood helps their bodies with. And so they asked when they started enjoying eating the cracks of chlorella tabs, they asked me like, what is this helping me with? Like, what is this doing for my body? And so I mentioned the growth factor and they were both, <laughs> they were like, 
reached out. They're like, what? It helps what? It's going to help us get taller because <laughs> I'm not very tall. I'm 5'4", and their father is 5'5", five five, and this has been an issue for them. <laughs> For the longest time, they're usually the tiniest when they were in school. Now they now now um, they homeschool, but when they were in school, they were usually one of the smallest ones in their class and on their hockey team. They're the one of the smaller ones. And they're like, this can help us grow to like maximum. Like we can actually get taller than you, you and dad. It's like, okay, <laughs> all the more reason. And so now it's something that, you know, it's it makes me laugh when I see them grab it, right? Because they're they know they're doing all of these things that can really help just just help increase that that overall health and 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 help them grow to their potential so that's um that's our story on chlorella and actually i have a quick halloween story so when my kids were younger um i really i took issue with um not doing the holiday all together right because i mean this holiday is everywhere everywhere you look right there's decorations the houses all have the decorations when they were in in school you know there's the halloween parties and the like and so i knew really early on that it was first of all going to take it was going to be challenging uh, but i really was 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 set on giving them the education aspect to it all like yes you know this can candy is handed out at this holiday but you know let's think about what is candy and what does it do for your body so i've always had that open communication with my kids which i I always recommend for families and especially with older kids but even like if you start this when your kids are young it'll flow so easily because it, it'll be what they know right as they get older um and so when they see somebody doing something that's not healthy they're going to question it immediately um but even for older kids who have gotten used to a certain way of eating you can flip that around you just got to open the communication and make it readily available right if we take a because i said so kind of approach that's like a losing that's a losing argument you're going to be playing that that like you know it's just going to get very frustrating right it's going to be a game of like who's going to win this argument um but if you just keep it readily available and open open the lines of communication and talk about it any chance you get I promise you, I promise you it sinks in, you know, and they start, they start taking in the information slowly and they'll start making their own decisions with it, right? So knowing this when they were young, I said, I'm, I didn't think the solution was to avoid all things Halloween for them. So we've got the costumes, they just dab. We went trick or treating with cousins or friends. Um, but when they got all of their candy and we brought it home, you know, we had the conversation about, you know, what is this and what does it do inside the body? Obviously, you know, age appropriate. Um, um, but it, it really helped them to say, like, is this worth it? You know, is this worth if I eat this, like, is this really worth it for my health? And eventually they came to that conclusion that it wasn't worth it. And so we started the switch, switch. And so they would take all of their candy and they were super, and, and, you know, in the years to come with this, they were even more motivated to get as many candies as they possibly could all because they wanted to then put it outside in a bag with a little letter for the switch witch overnight. Um, and they knew that the, this witch needed the candies because it's the ingredients for her potions, right? And so she, they were going to be giving, they were collecting these candies for the switch witch and then putting them outside. And, this, and the witch would be so happy to get all of these candies for her potions that she would leave them a toy, a book, uh, whatever, something else that they really, really wanted, really enjoyed, right? So for my kids, sometimes that was like little, like you know, uh, action figure, superhero toys. Sometimes it was books. Sometimes it was coloring, etc. And they, it was like Christmas morning, right? They ran to the door in the morning, opened the door, and were all excited to see what what the witch had left them. So that's a little something that we incorporated uh, when they were younger, and so they never felt like. And I've had that conversation with them since. Now they're older, and I said, you know, did you ever feel like you were left out of like? And they're like, no, not at all. Like they love to switch witch. And now with my older daughter who just had her first baby, my kids can't wait to to tell him about the switch witch and get that going this year, even though he's not even a year. But they're like, oh, it's okay. He's gonna understand. We're gonna explain it to him. So, you know, it's it's I guess there are ways around it, right? We don't have to kind of eliminate everything altogether, but definitely um there are ways to to make some healthier switches, like the switch witch. I love that, Sherry. The Switch Witch is really where it's at because we all know that our kids want to participate in Halloween and gather all of that candy. And I love what you shared that that witch makes potions with it. And so there's actually like a reason for them to be, you know, leaving it out there for her. And so that is such a great tip. And I love that she didn't actually leave other versions of candy. She's actually leaving a gift or a toy or something that they can actually really enjoy and have fun with. So that is even a better tip than what I've heard in the past. So really loving that suggestion. And I wanted to pass it back over to Jody. She had some more that she'd like to share with us 
she always has so much knowledge. And so Jody, come back on. Thanks, Naeva. Uh, two things I was I was texting her in the messenger, just her and me. Uh, number one, for all of you, you know, like Sherry was saying, the kids are going to want the candy, right? And I have a 19 year old and a 15 year old and a 10 year old at this point. And we've been with since the 10 year old was two. So they've all pretty much grown up with this superfood lifestyle. And one of the things that I make sure I do is, yes, we do get them the organic dyed with turmeric and beet juice kind of candy. And we do get dark chocolate that's very low in sugar, but sugar lowers the immune system a ton because sugar and vitamin C compete for what on, on the receptors on white blood cells. So white blood cells, which is basically the big part of your immune system, they use vitamin C more than any other cell in the body, but sugar replaces the vitamin C. And so it lowers your immune function by like 75%. And that's why when we hit Halloween and go all the way through Christmas and all the candies and cakes and pies, we suddenly have all these sicknesses because immune function is really lowered. And there's some easy ways that you can get around it. Fiber is going to slow down that sugar getting into the system. So you can do the daily fiber blend, or you can make some, you know, I, I like to make go on the Million Mom Move, what, Movement website and use the recipes that have like the dates and the fiber and the, all the proteins in it and give them some of that before they eat the sugar to help slow that down. Protein is also going to do that. And then make sure they get a lot of vitamin C, whether it's the C from nature, bio fruit is very high in vitamin C. I think the epigenius is as well. So make sure that they get that vitamin C to keep that immune function up. And then the other thing I was going to mention is we were talking about how do they make choices as they get older? So I have a 19 year old now who is half out of the house, half still in the house and is starting to make his own decisions about what he's eating and how he's walking through the world. And he is now coming to me and asking me questions about reading the label and asking me what he needs. And he said to me a couple of weeks ago, he goes, you know, I realized that you took care of my health all of these years, and I have to make sure that I can do that now. And so he's asking me all of those questions. So it really does work. And I'm, I'm really excited about that. Can I just tell you how excited I am about that? But it really does work. If you give them this really good basis, when they leave the house, even then they're still going to make good choices. And the one thing that my daughter always says is a treat isn't a treat if it makes you sick. And so in our house, one of the things that I have always done is when I see something with high sugar, artificial flavors, colors, whatever, I literally refer to it as poison. That's poison for your body. Are you sure you want to eat that? And they grew up with that messaging and now they look at it and they know it's going to hurt them. And so they make better choices. And so sometimes just the words you use can make a huge difference in how they see things. So now my daughter will teach all of her friends. We're at Park Play Date. She's teaching all of her friends about, well, this is bad for you because of this, but you can have this instead and just make sure you give them a this instead option that's just as happy as what they could have had, like these Skittles versus the, what, what were they called, Tammy? The giggles, the giggles. Like make sure they have an option and they will choose the healthier, better for them option. Okay, I know we're, we're at the end of the hour. Back to you, Naeva. Thank you so much, Jody. So many golden nuggets, and I always love hearing you share. And I just have a couple more things I want to share with you all. And then we have a gift for you to help you um, maneuver this holiday. So cooking with chlorella. We just wanted to cover a little bit more about chlorella before we hop off. So chlorella is 50% protein, 20% fat, and 20% carbohydrate. It also contains many minerals, vitamins, and a unique array of phyto complexes. So chlorella, we already covered a lot of this. I'm not going to go over the whole thing, but we are going to drop these articles into the Million Mom Movement official group on Facebook. And so we'd love to invite you there so that you can have access to these fun chlorella recipes so that you can incorporate it into your daily life and get it into your kiddos as well. So adding it to a guacamole, adding it to a salad dressing could be a fun thing. And then of course, chocolate chlorella avocado pudding. I mean, who isn't going to love that? And then lastly, 
because it's Halloween and we are going to be inundated with all kinds of crazy candies coming back with our kids. We went over some of these ingredients and how they are harmful and toxic, but we also wanted to share this article with you so that you can dive deeper in your own knowledge of why it is that we're avoiding these certain ingredients that are in a lot of our candies or processed foods like chips and cereals and crackers and you know so many other foods that are out there pop tarts um and why it is that we're avoiding these different chemicals and what they actually do for our bodies so i'm not going to go over all of them i'll just drop this in the comments and then of course you can also um find it in our million mom movement official group but before we hop off i want to pull up another article and have Jody read our pledge for us today. Oh, guys. Okay. This is my favorite part. And we, you guys all need to know that we went, we sat for a good couple of weeks and went over and over it, made sure we had the right words and we were focused on what we really wanted to create. So say it with me, you guys are all muted, but say it along with me, the million mom movement pledge. I pledge to defend the health of myself and my family. Put your oxygen mask on first, everybody. I pledge to choose organic foods that are minimally processed and free of man-made ingredients. I pledge to read labels and educate myself on all aspects of clean living. I understand that my actions today will positively impact the health and environment of future generations. I am committed to sharing this movement of many. I am the Million Mom Movement. Thank you so much, Jody. And we've really pivoted to having the Million Mom Movement, the mom being the movement of many, because we know that there are many of you that may not be moms here. And we are all just a part of this incredible community, sharing this message out into our communities. And so please stay on a few more minutes. I'm going to pass it over to Sherry. She is going to do our call to action, and we are going to give you a new gift. So Sherry, if you'll go over that with everyone. Absolutely. So for our call to action this week, we have a pretty cool treat for trick-or-treating. This is our sad to rad Halloween edition. So in this guide, you see, whoops. Oh, I'll move it. Okay. So what is more scary, the costumes or the ingredients? So here we go through some of the, your typical Halloween candies that your kids will most likely be coming home with, both from school and from trick-or-treating um, or for any parties that they're going to. And we go through the ingredients. So you'll see there's some things highlighted. I'll let you guys really look at all of this deeply. But um, from there, we continue. Some of these, uh, some of these chemicals, you'll you'll be familiar with now that we've gone over them during the call. Um, and there's many others that are listed here, like corn syrup. Um, there's the ten artificial colors, eight artificial colors. So many things. So so many unhealthy ingredients in these candies. And now we have some Halloween swaps for you. So instead of the Skittles, we can do the giggles like was mentioned here that Tammy was talking about and Jody mentioned as well. Um, from Reese's Pieces, you can swap over to Justin's. These are some great options, right? So again, it's ways to still let your kids have the candy, but educating them at the same time about why we're making a healthier choice, right? Compare ingredients and get them involved with it. On the next page, we have some more of the healthy swaps. Um, and then we talk about food coloring. So we really go into the different types of food colorings and what they're known to cause. Okay, so we have all of this. Then we have solutions because it's not just about creating awareness around what we shouldn't be doing. We always wanna be including what we should be doing and how we can make better choices. And our uh, juice bar in a bag is such a great option here as Naeva had mentioned during the presentation. Um, you can make so many beautiful colors with this. Um, I've seen people do this for Halloween. I've seen them do it for Easter. Like it's such a great way. Um, and we get the kids involved because while uh, when we're using superfoods as opposed to like those artificial um, like colorings, right? They're not going to stay in your hands forever and ever. So you can get the kids involved. Doesn't matter what gets dirty, what gets messy. It all comes off. It's all superfoods. They can eat it as they make it, right? So this is a fun way to get kids involved with any type of Halloween parties that you're doing where you're, you know, going to be baking or creating uh, treats for the kids. And of course, then we go over our Million Mom Movement and Puriums core value system. So we are giving all of this, we are 
giving all of this to all of you. And we are asking you for our call to action today to share it, right? Use it and share it. Share it with at least 10 people, uh, people who you know this will help benefit, people who could use this information, especially this time of the year. So we will provide you the link, I believe, Naeva, right? We're gonna be putting the link in, um, and it will also be in our in our uh, Million Mom official group with all of the other links of everything else that we discussed here today. Back to you, Naeva. Thank you so much, Sherry. Such a fun little project. I actually was looking at our Sad to Rad article that we've made in the past, and it didn't quite allude to what we wanted to um, share today with all the different candies that you can swap out. And so I used some of our past Halloween um, shares to find the resources to make this new Halloween edition of Sad to Rad. So it's like you saw, it's just eight pages. It's super easy to go through. It's a great tool for you to share with your friends and family, the moms in your community. So please share it with at least 10 of the people you've been talking to about these superfoods, the moms that are passionate like you about making healthier choices for their families. And each and every one of you here is a part of the Million Mom Movement. We are a thousand people from a hundred communities, each sharing this mission with at least 10 other families. And so please help us spread this mission far and wide. And for those of you who are brand new here, please reach back out to the person who invited you here because they invited you because they know that you care about the health of yourself and your family and your children. And they wanted you to be a part of this presentation. So please reach back out to them, get this tool from them and become a part of our Million Mom movement. We want to invite you to be a part of this movement. And if you're not yet, please follow us on Instagram and on Facebook and join our Million Mom Movement official, um, Million Mom Movement official Facebook group. <laughs> So thank you all for being here with us today. I am going to go ahead and stop this recording. And um, thank you all for joining us. Let me see here.